Like most things when it comes to your smartphone, there's an app for that. And what it really means is that there's actually scanner apps. Now, you might be thinking, well, you just take a picture, right? Sure, you could just take a photo of a photo, but that's not as high quality as it could be. There's actually dedicated apps that make it easy to scan in documents or photos on a smartphone. Now, I want to show you one called PhotoScan from Google, and it's actually optimized just for scanning in photos or documents. It's available for both Android and iOS. What you'll do is launch the app. It's free to download. And then take out something that you need to scan. Maybe you're visiting a family member and they've got a precious photo album that they don't want to leave or send with you, but you can scan it while you're there. Or maybe you're doing some historical research and you come across some great family records. Now with an app like this, what you do is you just position your picture inside of the frame and then tap the button to start. It's going to add some dots. Now what you want to do is move the camera over each dot, trying to keep things relatively level. This will actually create basically a panoramic and stitch it all together. Notice what a great job it did. I have that photo there and if I need to, I could tap the adjust corners buttons here and actually tweak and move those around to compensate. This allows you to fine tune exactly where that's positioned if you need to take advantage of fixing keystone correction or any angles. But unlike just taking a picture, this actually scanned it and used multiple passes of data to capture that info. Let's try it again. I'll go ahead back here and go to the camera view. I'll just position this over the photo I want and tap. Now I just move over each dot, trying to keep the phone level. Then you could tap to look at the results. Notice what a great job it did. And if I need to, I see a little bit of border there, I could tap adjust and just gently move that border to compensate. Then done and you see it recompensates. Now, later on, if need to, you can rotate the images and easily hand these off. What I like to do is just tap the share button and watch. I can go right to Mylio Photos. It'll actually send it from this app into my Mylio library, and it's that simple. Swipe back to the other one, tap the share button, and go right to Mylio. And those are going to be sitting there in my Mylio Photos library waiting for me to color enhance, add metadata, and organize.